This is the earth. However, it's not as you currently know it. Let's zoom in. Here, we have traveled back 90 million years to a time period called the Cretaceous. During this time, dinosaurs such as the T-Rex and ancient marine reptiles such as Spinosaurus thrived on Earth. Uh-oh. Our T-Rex friend sounds hungry. Let's get out of here! And fast forward to today. Hey, welcome back to the present. I'm Cameron, and it's nice to see you all here in one piece. This is my lab, and as you can see, we live a much more comfortable life now where we do not have to worry about being eaten by dinosaurs. We have evolved to where we can protect ourselves from natural disasters and rely on various resources for energy, food, transportation, and shelter. Knowing what life used to be like millions of years ago and seeing how much it has improved today poses the question, who is working behind the scenes so we can live the lifestyles that we currently have? To answer that question, allow me to introduce you to a really exciting field of science called geoscience. This is a broad field of science that involves anything related to the study of the Earth. For example, subdivisions of geoscience include paleontology, the study of fossils, seismology, the study of earthquakes, in my field, geochemistry, where I am researching geothermal energy to explore how heat from geysers can be used to power your homes. Geoscience is a rapidly growing field of science and needs bright-minded individuals like you to make revolutionary discoveries that will advance the field. Now for today, I'm turning all of you into geoscientists. Together, let's grow our own rocks by creating rock candy. You can even do this at home with help from your parent or guardian. Here are the materials that we need. A pot, measuring cup, candy thermometer, sugar, bamboo stick, clothespin, and a glass. First, let's add four cups of sugar and one cup of water to our pot with the candy thermometer inside. Second, we're going to cook our mixture of sugar and water at medium heat until it looks clear and becomes a syrup. Also make sure to stir the pot frequently. Once the sugar fully dissolves, we're going to turn off the stove and let the mixture cool until it reaches a temperature of 220 degrees Fahrenheit. As it cools, let's move on to our third step. We're going to grab our bamboo stick and coat it with the mixture. For the fourth step, we're then going to sprinkle sugar onto our bamboo stick. From this point, our clothing pins are going to be used in the fifth step to create a bridge that our bamboo stick can suspend from inside the glass. Lastly, Let's carefully transfer our mixture into our glass. Now we just have to wait four hours for our rock candy to form. As we wait, let's look at the science behind this experiment. Creating rock candy is a very similar process to how corals in the ocean create their skeletons. In our experiment, the glass filled with the mixture of sugar and water represents the ocean. The sugar that has dissolved into the water represents an ionic compound in our ocean called calcium carbonate. This is also the same material that is used to create chalk. Lastly, our bamboo stick represents the skeleton of a baby coral. 
As corals grow into adults, their skeletons grow in size through a chemical process called biomineralization. During biomineralization, coral is turning dissolved calcium carbonate in the ocean into a solid to form its skeleton. Let's check back on our experiment. As expected, we recreated the biomineralization process that is responsible for creating the skeletons of corals. The dissolved sugar in our mixture became a solid and grew on the bamboo stick like a coral skeleton. As a bonus, we've also ended up with a delicious treat. Doesn't geoscience rock? You all learned a new field of STEM, how coral reefs are made, and you made a tasty snack. Each and every one of you have been rock stars today, and thank you for watching.